America's dairy cows will be tested for bird flu more closely to stop the virus from spreading. Some new rules were put in place yesterday after the FDA reported finding fragments of the bird flu virus in pasteurized grocery store milk. Regulators, though, say there is little risk to humans. Dr. Sling Gounder is a CBS News medical contributor and editor-at-large for public health at KFF Health News. Good morning, Dr. Gounder. First, I want to uh, just ask you about that headline. When I first read this yesterday, of course, you know, alarm bells go off when you hear that it's found on the grocery store shelves in pasteurized milk. What do we, what concerns should we have? Should we have concerns? Yeah. I think we should be very clear that the tests that came back positive are for the genetic material of the virus. This could just be virus fragments, what's left over after pasteurization. Mm -hmm. And so this by itself is not a reason for alarm. There are additional tests being done to see, is this live infectious virus or is this just the dead virus we would expect to see? So drinking it, you, would you get sick? drinking that milk? Well, presumably, if this is uh, simply the leftovers after pasteuriz pasteurization process, you should not get sick from mm -hmm. this. All right, and we know that H5N1, the bird flu virus, is prep it's, it's out there, it's in the animal population, but when it comes to human risk, there has been only one confirmed case, uh, animal or a farm worker in Texas who is a confirmed case. Mm -hmm. So what can we, Take, what can we gather from that when it comes to human risk of transmission? Well, there are some uh, tests still ongoing, so to see if there's any live infectious virus in the milk supply. So uh, what we do there is we try to grow up any virus, what we call culture, it's the kind of test we do. Those tests are still ongoing. We anticipate those will come back negative. Pasteurization works for mm -hmm. all the viruses that we've tried uh, to test this on so far. Uh, there's no reason to think it wouldn't, but we wanna confirm that that's the case. The other thing we're looking out for is, do we see pigs infected? Pigs have traditionally been the mixing vessel for human and bird flu, and that's how you get these Frankenstein scary flus. Mm -hmm. That's what we have a bit of a blind spot on right now, and so we need to be digging more into that. And is the government doing enough, and the FDA, and farmers, what are we hearing about how these cases are being reported or how yeah. they're taking care of this? You know, big picture, I think there could be more transparency and cooperation, uh, whether it's the S F uh, USDA or farmers allowing the USDA and public health people onto farms to do the testing. Some of the workers are not trustful of the government and so don't want to come forward for testing. Mm -hmm. So everybody needs to be working better together. All right, Dr. Celine Gounder, thank you so much.